In parts of Indonesia, rice is still harvested by hand. And while these traditional techniques can produce food in abundance, other traditional practices can be problematic for children. Traditionally, mothers stop exclusively breastfeeding when their children are four months or younger. One in three children under the age of five suffer from stunted growth. Stunting has long-term impacts on a child's ability to learn and weakens their immune system. But families who are educated about the benefits of breastfeeding have bright futures. Families like Rita and Citra. Kata orang orang tua zaman dulu, kalau bayi lahir itu pas nangis terus pasti dia itu lapar. Bu tolong dikasih makan, makan pisang atau bubur itu. Nah aku nggak mengikuti soalnya ntar kalau langsung didulang ntar katanya kecerdasannya kurang. The problem we find in many communities throughout Indonesia is that women and other family members just don't have the access to the right information, the advice and support they need to feed their children in the best way possible. Many are heavily influenced by traditional practices and beliefs that are passed on by elder family relatives and discourage good feeding practices. The European Union and UNICEF are sponsoring a community-based education and outreach initiative that modifies the traditional diets for mother and child and promotes exclusive breastfeeding for children under six months. The projects are about reaching out to uh, you know, some of the remote areas of Indonesia where there is a big problem of malnutrition, work with UNICEF to make sure that we educate and give the right kind of nutrition to mothers and children. What we hope now is that this will also have an influence on the planning and policies of the government of this country so that all regions of Indonesia could benefit. Aku bangga karo wong Jawa. Ning nek dinggo kesehatan anakku, aku milih sing tradisi saiki, ora dinggo ora tradisi makanan zaman biyen, tradisi makanan zaman saiki. Sekalo gede biar dia itu jadi dokter gitu.